welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen. And before we get into today's video newsletter, I'd like to offer you a free Demaic guide that you can go to now and download using the link in the video description below. So before you watch today's video, click on the link and get your free guide now. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video's newsletter, well, we're going to take a look at design of experiments and how many levels, how many data points do you really need to test to find out how your system works. So we're going back to DOE and the question is, is it two or three levels or more? Okay, so this has been inspired, this, DO, this uh, video has been inspired by a question uh, from uh, a client of mine who's seen a previous video and then they started sending me questions about doing a designed experiment. And they were obsessed about doing more tests than they actually needed to do. So let's just think about this for a second. I mean, think, look. You have a dial on your process. You are going to test it in a low position. You are going to test it in a high position. So this could be time, could be temperature, could be pressure. You, you can put it anywhere. You can go, let's say it's time. You could test it at 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, 60 seconds. You can test it in those places if you wish. But look, if the relationship is going to be a straight line anyway, so I could have gone 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 seconds. I could have done all of those tests if I'd have wanted to, but what would they have all done? Well, they would have all have dropped on the line if this is a linear relationship. So if, the linear, if there's a linear relationship, What's the minimum number of tests I can get away with? Well, two is the minimum number of tests you get away with. And then to prove that you have a straight line, where do you confirm? You confirm it right on the midpoint. Because if the model was truly curved, that's going to be its weakest point. So, Three points really is the minimum you're going to get away with. And the best way to do this is exactly the way I just said, which is to say, let's start with two, let's confirm in the middle. If I don't confirm, so if I hit this point here unexpectedly, then I will then augment into a three level designed experiment. Now obviously if you have some knowledge beforehand that says no, the relationship in my process is truly curved, how many places do you need to test? Well you need to test at the ends and you need to test in the middle. But let the maths do the work. What the maths is designed to do is to fill in the gaps. This is the power of mathematics. The idea of wanting to see all of these data points is the power of observation. You want to observe what's going on. The power of a designed experiment is not observation. That's not what we want. That's the slowest way to do things. Think about it like this. In the days of the the Mayans living in South America, if they wanted to know where the sun was going to rise every day over the, the hill that they were looking at, what they might do is get up at dawn every day and by observation, they will watch the sun rise over the hill and they will make a mark. 
and they will do it by observation. And of course, over 365 days, they will see the sun rise in different places and then come back again. Now they might not spot a pattern. So what would they then do? They carry on doing observations. And after two years and three years, they would observe where the sun rises every day. Now that's the observation technique. Multiple observations, hard work, takes years to do. What we're talking about though, is design of experiments. Let the maths make a prediction. Because what DOE is going to do is not about observation. It's about prediction. And if I'm going to predict a straight line, I only need two points. If I'm going to try and create maths for uh, a curved line, I really only need three points. Now, of course, what lots of people say to me is, ah, Paul, I've got a super complicated process and it really looks like that, so I want to, I want to do all those tests. Well, what I can tell you is that no one has processes like that. That's a very rare thing. And even if you did, what would you actually do? Well, you test here and create a linear model. Then you might test in these three places and of course create a curve and now you've got the quadratic model so you build models up in different parts that you would you were interested in using what you wouldn't try and do is to do this that's hard work that's the old way that's the way the ancients used to do it you don't need to do that today. Let design of experiments do its work. Let the maths do its work. The question I was sent, by the way, they had three variables. Three variables, and what they wanted to do, they wanted to test one of them in 10 places, and the other two, oops, wrong way around, the other two, they wanted to test in six places. So they wanted to do this. I, I don't understand that. Let the maths do the work. Now the only reason you would do this, this would be a very rare requirement. The only reason you would test in these multiple places is if you had a system that did this. And there was a sharp turn in space. So this clearly isn't a curve. It is a sharp turn in space. And if you are trying to see the point where it turns in space, well, you're gonna to have to test it in multiple places. You're gonna to have to test it in 10 places, 20 places maybe, to pick up the turn in space. But that, again, that's a very rare situation. Only specialist systems have situations like that. In most manufacturing systems, if you have a, a manufacturing process, whatever it happens to be, whether it's electronics, whether it's mechanical, whether it's turning or machining in some way, whether it's painting or plating or whatever it is, putting parts in an electronic circuit board, um, all sorts of different manufacturing processes. Your processes can be described by just testing at two levels or, I haven't written it in, have I? three levels. You can either test in two places or you can test in three places and then let the maths do the work. Remember, that's what the maths is about. The maths is the ability to predict. So I do some DOEs where there are literally, probably lots more than this, but there are literally 16 million combinations that the machine could be set up in. Now we can't do that by observation. We only have to test 16 points. And then what do we do? We predict the points that we haven't been to. That's the power of design of experiments. It's the fastest way to make the most amount of money. So design of experiments, two level or three level, really. 
is all you need. Uh, but if you have a specialist situation and you want to ask me a question, by all means, leave a comment. If you think that you're in one of these specialist situations and you think you have to test in multiple places, I will gladly help you out and point you in the right direction, point you at an experiment that would work for you, or indeed point out that maybe a two level or a three level DOE is good enough to make bucket loads of cash. And that's what we want to do. Design of experiments, simple ways to make more money.